So let's get straight into it. What is reverse engineering? Reverse engineering is the act of dismantling an object to see how it works. This is primarily done to analyze and gain knowledge about the way something works, but often it is used to duplicate or then improve an object. Many things can be reverse engineered, including software, products, physical machines, and even military technology. In fact, recently, the US government raced against China to recover an F-35 stealth jet from the bottom of the South China Sea. It did this precisely to prevent another nation reverse engineering the technology. This gives you a clue as to how effective reverse engineering can be. It's often used in the research stages of a project by designers wanting to make add-on or complementary products for an existing product where they can't get hold of the original design files. Make sure you watch this video right up until the end because there's some key things in the last bit of this video that explains how reverse engineering can save you thousands of pounds when you're developing a product. This is because those original files may have been lost, may never have been available if the product was originally developed by a Chinese manufacturer who hasn't then released the source files and has then subsequently gone out of business. Reverse engineering can obviously be used by people to copy other people's products, but ethical design companies like D2M Innovation that I founded are never going to do that. The only time we would use reverse engineering is where the client already owns the design and all the intellectual property. And in those cases, then there's no issue with using reverse engineering and often it can reduce overall costs and time to develop a better product. Well, the reverse engineering process is specific to the object on which it's being performed. No matter the object type, there are three general steps that are common to all reverse engineering efforts. These include information extraction, modeling, and review. Let's look at each of those in a bit more detail. Information extraction is where you study the object that's being reverse engineered and remove or extract the information about its design and then examine that to determine exactly how all the components in a product fit together. In product reverse engineering specifically, dimensions, tolerances, fits and assembly techniques are often the main areas that you want to study. Once you have all that collected information, it's then used to create a conceptual model, often using 3D computer-aided design software. And the purpose of this step is to take all the information that was specific to the original and put it into a new general model that can be used to guide the design of new objects or systems. Review is the final step, and this often revolves around testing various different scenarios, maybe in the computer-aided design environment or by 3D printing you can test fit and purpose in the real world environment and you can then manipulate these prototypes to confirm the design intent and then re-engineer the original product to now be better. It's often also used for product improvement and this is the key driver in most cases. For firms involved in product design, development and manufacture, the need for constant development and evolution is simply part of operating in any competitive market. The main goals of reverse engineering in the context of product improvement are reducing manufacturing cost, refining features for improved usability, improving product performance and durability, replacing a product with a new updated version. By simplifying a product's manufacture, its costs can often be potentially significantly reduced whilst also improving its performance. As I said at the beginning, how can you use reverse engineering to save yourself thousands of pounds? Well, you can do that by ensuring all the lessons learned in developing your previous products are then captured before you then develop the new product. And then if you've got issues with previous products like customers have had parts that have broken over time or things that they've complained about in reviews, then you can reverse engineer the original product, but then improve those areas, which will give you a much better product overall. But that will be significantly cheaper than starting from scratch. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you know when we launch the next video in the series. I hope you enjoyed the video.